Welcome to this New Hampshire beer tasting. From Pipe Dream Brewing Company out of Londonderry, New Hampshire, I have their Groovin Guava Double IPA. Now, this comes in at 8% ABV. This is the Can Art. Pipe Dream, uh, the kind of, uh, uh, they go for like a West Coast vibe type surf boy thing. Uh, the owner is a uh, retired uh, military veteran, so it's pretty cool. Uh, what it says here, it says this beer, oh, this hazy, juicy New England style double IPA is triple dry hopped with Amarillo and Centennial hops and further aged on 900 pounds of fresh guavas to keep you grooving all day long. Um, there is no canned on date. I did pick this up fresh from the brewery though uh, the other day. So let's go ahead and crack into this and chilled took it out just took it out of the fridge so it's my new style i'll just just popping that open i can already smell the guava all right the um wow that's a that's potent um the head kind of just built a small head. I didn't think it was even going to build one at all. The uh, color on it, it's a, well, it's small, tight bubbles. Um, kind of a, a little bit of an off-white. The coloration of the body of the beer, uh, it's very hazy, murky looking. Um, kind of like, uh, I don't know, the color of an apple. Um uh, if you cut it open, it starts to starts to brown up a little bit. It's kind of apple-y, applesauce coloration. Uh, all right, the aromas. Yeah, this is one of those ones from way back. Wait, you don't even have to get right down in it. This is this has some fantastic aromas. Lots of lots of guava. Bit of uh, sweetness, kind of floral aroma as well. Well, it smells awesome. Um, so far, another uh, another good one from from Pipe Dream. Uh, as far as aroma, so far, uh, first wig. Cheers. All right, first off, obviously, guava up front. Bitterness uh, kind of comes in with that. Uh, tail end, I get a bit of a dank, a dankness uh, in the flavor. And then the bitterness just seems to grow off that and kind of just left with a good amount of bitterness just lingering around on the uh, back of the tongue. It's got a pretty um, thick mouth feel to it. Definitely, uh, I'd say high, high, medium body anyways. Carbonation is a 
to just about at the medium level. Yeah, that little head did not did not stick around. It is leaving some lacing on the glass. All right, we go ahead and uh, stick around with this a bit longer, let it warm up a little bit too, and put down my numbers. All right. So, for this one, uh, the appearance, uh, because the head retention was just, where there was hardly any head anyways, but the head retention on this was really bad. Uh, just kind of gave it a 5 out of 6 for appearance. Um, the aromas, like I said, even when I just popped the can open, it, it, was, it was fantastic. Very aromatic. Um, get the guava. Um, some of the other hop notes kind of coming up through, but the guava really stood out. Um, Roma, I gave this a 10 out of 10. Now, on the flavors, um, it was a bit lackluster, I think, in the, I think the malt really didn't shine through. It was, uh, overtaken by the guava. Kind of, if I was going to say there was a, a malt flavor, after a while, maybe there might be like a slight bread note, but I just think... It needs more of a malt backbone, uh, being a double IPA. And the biggest reason for that is the bitterness on this just lingers. And it's kind of an unpleasant bitterness after a while. Um, so uh, I put that down as a harsh bitterness. So the balance and all that stuff wasn't wasn't the best between the, uh, the malt, the hop. Um, the flavor, it was decent, uh, but it was not like the aroma as well. So total for the flavor, I gave it a 14 out of 19. Uh, the body on it, I thought was great. I did like the, uh, the fullness of it, um, that being that, that high medium body, um, goes well, like if you're eating, you know, blended up guava or something. Um, my overall impression of this, based off of, off of everything, um, it's like a 7 out of 10 for me. It's what I wouldn't mind sharing with friends. Um, i got my other three beers of this as well. I'm not going to mind drinking them. Um. But I might look, I might look for a different one, other than this. If if I you know was to go back to Pipe Dream, uh, which which I will. But uh, yeah, if if this was the only IPA they had on their list that day that I went back, I I would pick it up again. So saying it's. It's good, it's good, um, but I just, that bitterness is just is just hurting it a little bit there for me. Um, so for my overall bumpy 50 point score, this beer, Pipe Dream Brewing, Grooving Guava Dippa, gets a 41 out of 50. It leaves us in the uh, excellent beer range. So, cheers, guys. Thank you for watching.